Good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? Good evening. Good evening. Excellent. Nice. Very nice. That's good. Okay, I'm going to share screen. Well, the first screen that I'm going to share is this one. Uh, this is probably the end of the unit. And uh, then we have the, the final exam. It says midterm exam. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we're going to look for the final exam. Okay. This is the final exam. In the listening, the instructions, the instructions in the listening say, Listen to the conversation and select the correct answer. So you have to listen and then you mark the correct answer. If you heard Catherine has four brothers, you mark four. If you think Catherine has seven, you mark seven. If not, nine, okay? And then you listen, there are four questions for this one. When you have marked them, you submit them to check, okay? And after this one, at the bottom, you have next. So you go to next. So instructions, listen to the conversation, select the correct answer, okay? Do you have any questions about those instructions? Not right. They are kind of uh, easy instructions. In the next one, complete the conversations. Okay, instructions. Complete the conversations with do, does, or would. Uh, you remember the invitations. If it's an invitation, what do you use? Do, does, or would? Would. Oh. Would you like to see a movie? Would you like to go to the beach? Would you like to, okay, yes, very good. And uh, number two, well, so you have like this, that's for part one, complete with do, does, or would. Do you, do they, do I, does he, does she, does it? Would, would you like, would he like, would she like, Etc. Would like. Part two, complete the following conversations. Use the present present continuous of the verbs. Teacher, what's the present continuous? The verb to be and the verb in ing, right? Okay. You say uh, she is studying, he is working, he is playing. Okay, something that is important. Uh, the spelling, spelling is important. So let me, let, let me help you with the spelling. Let's go to uh, my, my board. Okay, you say, teacher, what's the spelling? Check over here. Mm, I'm going to I'm going to check the spelling. If you say uh, read, okay. I don't like the color. Let's change the color.
Let's see. Let's use white. Okay. So for reading, what do we use? Easy reading. One. Reading. ING. Okay. Uh, cook. Cooking. 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 ING. Uh, ING. Okay. Mm -hmm. But what happens? What happens if it's study? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I put it right after it. So study. What happens if it's study? Change, change, J. Change the Y for uh, I. Uh, y for I. We mm -hmm. keep, we only add ING, studying. Yes. Studying, okay. Uh, what happens if we are we using play? The same, I and mm -hmm. We don't have complications. The only difference is if we are using bake. What do we do if it's bake? Baking. E Eliminate A. I and G. Okay. Baking. Okay. Or if let's say it's put. We have a consonant, vowel consonant, or at least vowel consonant, double the T. Double T, double T. Double T. I-N-G. Uh -huh. Shop. Double T. I-N-G. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Shopping, okay. Or other things like this. So if the, the verb finishes in an E, or with an E, we use, we drop the E, okay? Like here, we drop the E and we use ING. Example, write, say write, bye bye E, mm -hmm. ING. Okay. Ah, okay, what happens if it's write? Bye bye E, mm -hmm. ING. Okay, but it's different. It's different if we say, if we are using vowel, consonant, vowel. Like I say, mm, easy one for you. Let let's see. Get. Imagine that we have get, g g get. So we have get. Okay, we have vowel, consonant. So double. T, mm -hmm. T, right? mm -hmm. double T, ING, getting, run, running, run, double mm -hmm. N, double N, ING, ING, swim, mm -hmm. double M, mm -hmm. ING, okay? So in these ones, we have like this, okay? So, but something important too. You were saying teacher, but you have like, like uh, change the Y. Ah, I know why you say that. But check over here. We use it like this, Thai. Teacher, what is Thai? Amarrar, right? Thai. So what do we do? Bye bye I, I mean bye bye E, bye bye I, use Y, I N G, tying. Okay. We say lie. Teacher, lie what? Mentir, right? Lie. So bye bye, lie, lying. Okay. We have like this, lying. Okay. And then, of course, we have the others, untying, etc. But panic, panic. Teacher, what happens if it's panic? Ah, if you add ing, it says panicing because C is soft in ing, right? So panicing. So we add a letter. What letter? A solid letter, K. And we use panicking, panicking. Okay, 
The same goes for traffic. Traffic, trafficking. Picnic, picnic. Like my father used to say, picnic, he said, right? So picnic, so picnicking, okay? Picnicking, right? Picnicking. Panicking, trafficking, and say, and the last one, mimic. Teacher, what is mimic? Remedar, right? Mom, she's mimicking what I do. Okay. <laughs> mimic. So mimic K ING. Okay. Teacher, and this is only for ING. No, it's for the past tense too. When you add ED, panic. K E D. Traffic K E D. Panic K E D. Mimic K E D. The same. Okay. So this is some of the things. Okay. This is part of the spelling. It's important. What about the stress? Uh, let's say prefer. Prefer. What's what is the stress here, right? No prefer, it's prefer. So we double the R and we write preferring, double R, preferring. Okay, refer, the same, refer, referring. Oh, teacher, not three R's, only two. Referring, deter, deter. Teacher, what is deter? Deter is uh, to make people be afraid of something. An example, um, if someone is a thief, a thief, right? Thief, is a, the person is a thief, a person that takes somebody else's property, a thief, this one, And uh, the law says, okay, the person is a thief. Okay, cut, cut the hand by by hand. And then the person says, nah, it doesn't happen. But then they see that it happens to a friend and it happens to another one. And so the, the thief is afraid. He says, oh, oh no. I don't, I don't want this to happen to me. So that is deter, okay? Deter, to prevent something from happening from fear, right? Deter. Okay, so we use deterring, deterring, deterring. Don't, don't get confused with enter, enter. The stress is here. Enter, no, enter, enter, okay? If it's enter, what do we do? Like Scooby-Doo, okay? Only ING, right? Entering, not, we don't use double R, no, only one R. Why? Because the stress is here. This is for the one that is, stress is here. Prefer, refer, deter, okay? Then ING. Okay, others that people get confused with. Sleep. My dear niñitos, if you pay attention, is S-L-E-E-P, sleep. So what's, what do you do? I-N-G, sleeping, right? Sleeping, only that. No sleeping, okay? Sometimes we write, Sleeping, uh -uh. it's sleeping. The double is the E, not the, not the P, right? So sleeping. Okay, the same happens with writing, the same happens with the others. So one T, one D. Okay, here two E's and one P. Okay, so this is about the spelling. Yeah, no problem. Okay, maybe you were telling me about this 
I, okay, I, yes, that is for the simple present. Okay, you have study, third person, studies, third person, not progressive, third person, progressive, mm -mm. progressive is normal, okay? Teacher, but I saw plural baby, IES, babies. Ah, yeah, but that is plural. Third person is another story, okay? If you say cry, third person cries, or watch, third person uh, watches. Sorry, watches, okay. Crash, sorry. Crash, crashes, crashes, okay, yes, right? Or go, go, goes. This is pronounced O. Goes, but this is pronounced does. So do remember, do does? No, no, do does. Everything is fine, right? No, do does. Okay, doubt, mm -hmm. doubt, 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 do does. <laughs> so do does. Okay, do does. Go goes, crash crashes, watch watches, cry cries, study studies. This is spelling, spelling. Okay, what about the tense? What's missing here for the tense? The verb to be, remember, the combination of be and the verb in ing is the present progressive. Okay, if you only have the verb in ing, it's not the present progressive. So you have is reading, are cooking, is dancing, is listening, et cetera, is, et cetera. That is present progressive. Present progressive is B, eh, sorry, plus, no stress, plus verb in ing. Or here I'm going to put something like this, okay? B plus verb in ing. I'm dancing, I'm cooking, she's reading, they are traveling, we are learning, they are studying, okay? Like that. Questions? Questions about this? No teacher. Excellent. No, no questions? teacher. Excellent, and then let's go. I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to move this thing back up. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to share the other screen. Okay. Then we go back to the exam. So pay attention to the spelling when you do the exam. If you have a perfect spelling, no problems in the exam. Okay, part B, well, this is the conversation. Okay, so this is one, part B. The next one, multiple choice. Multiple choice, choice, teacher, what is choice? Elección, choice. Mm -hmm. So if you have different options, different options, then, you have to choose, you have to select one. So it's choice. Okay. We have part one, instructions. Choose the correct word, select the correct word. Even they put it in Spanish, escoja la palabra correcta. Okay, so we say like this, la palabra correcta escoja, right? So imagine, not teaching, it runs very fast. I cannot, Catch it. <laughs> okay. Imagine. 
<laughs> so you put here. Okay, this is what you have to write here. From where, teacher? Do? Do you do football? No, right. You don't do football. You do jogging. I mean, jogging, teacher. I go jogging. I play football. Okay. So, and so forth. That is, but go. You say, teacher, which ones do you use with go? Go swimming, go dancing, go uh, fun, fun things, go hiking, go walking. Let's make a list. Let me stop here. Let's go back to my board. I'm going to be shifting between one and the other. Okay, to help you. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change this one. Let's come here. Go. Go what? Go cooking? Uh -uh, you don't go cooking. No. But you go hiking. Hiking. Also, sorry, it's a little, okay, dancing. Go dancing. Okay. Swimming. Go swimming. Yes. Go swimming. Let me see. Okay. I cannot. Jogging teacher. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Um, I'm trying to put this like, but I don't see the, the blinking cursor. So when they like pointer. Okay. So swimming, bowling. Yes. Go bowling. Surfing, right? Surfing, go surfing. What else? Go surfing. Uh, running? Go running. Yeah, yes. Okay. Yes, go running. It's preferable to say go jogging, but okay, go running. Why not? Go running. Okay, go square dancing, go shopping. Go shopping. Go hitchhiking. I hope people don't do hitchhiking anymore, right? But they, some people do. They go hitchhiking. Teacher, what's hitchhiking? Traveling, asking for a ride, okay? Ride, right? Some people raise their hand. Camera here, okay? Raise your hand, hand ride, okay? People ask for a ride. And then sometimes they walk, they ask for a ride. They walk, they ask for a ride. They walk, they ask for a ride. That's, they travel like that. That is hitch hiking, okay? Let's see. Now, another one. Okay. Hitchhiking, uh, go windsurfing, go sky, skydiving. Skydiving. Let's see. Go skydiving. Okay, et cetera. I'm going to say just etc. Just to give you the principal ones, go hiking, go dancing, go swimming, go bowling, go surfing, go running, go jogging, go shopping, go hitchhiking, go scuba diving, go skydiving, etc. Okay, let's see. Now let's move back. Let's go to the exam. Next, reading. Over here, you have to read about Audrey Totu. Audrey Totu, Totu is a French lady, right? Audrey Totu, okay? So you have to read it, read it. And what do you have to do? Check the correct answers after you read it, okay? So in high school, Audrey Totu acts what? Audrey Tattoo, not Tattoo, no, Tattoo, Audrey Tattoo, 
uh, acts what? Then you look here, acts, look for the combination, right? She goes acting school, goes to acting school, ta -da -da -da. Audrey acts in many movies. Oh, okay. So you have to pull it down here. And then you say in plays, in on television or in movies? In movies. Select in one. Movies. Right? <laughs> Select one and then you read the other one, look here, go to the option, select. Okay. That's about this one. Okay. And I think that that's all the exam because I don't have anything after that. That's the last part of the exam, right? Okay. Let me see. I'm going to move it here down to see if there is no next. There is no next, that is the last one. Okay, excellent. So you can do it because you're very smart and you know what to do. Okay, excellent, my dear ones. Um, I'm going to stop. Yes, Olguita? Um, uh, Karen, uh, can, uh, she can connect to internet right now. I suppose I don't recite the class tonight. Oh. Okay. Karen. Karen. Sí, Karen. Ask Karen if she cannot connect to do the yes. exam. Okay. Uh -huh. To do the exam so that she. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, and she, she, she made this exam um, apart <laughs> in, in, his, in her home. Uh huh. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, my Thank dear you. ones, all of you will do the exam in your house. Okay. Okay. Teacher Malia. No, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what I'm saying is that all of you will do the exam, but not right now, not in this moment, after the class. Yes? After the class. So I am Malia, but not so Malia. <laughs> like the country, Somalia, okay, so let's see, okay. Now let's, let's go to today's class. I had to give you an idea about what to do, but okay, I hope that these things help you, okay. Let me see, my mouse is tricky, so I'm going to move. Okay, like this. Okay, so I'm going to share. I'm going to share this. Here it says, stop sharing. Okay, and then I'm going to share what I want to share. Okay. Okay, let's see if this gives me permission. Mm -hmm. I know this is the one that is still on. Okay, yeah. I understand, okay. Let's see, it seems like this one is out of range. No problem, I can do this. Let me close this file. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, share, I have no more options to share. Okay. It doesn't let me share this, but okay. I'm going to close this one and I'm going to try to share again because
Let's see. It says that I'm sharing, okay. Funny, I'm going to close this file and I'm going to open it again. Close all tabs, yes. I'll open it again because it doesn't let me share it with you. Okay. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't let me share. Okay. Uh -huh. Can you see the screen? Yes, teacher, I can. Okay, excellent. Now, yes, because it said like it didn't. Okay. Then let's check. Today is August the 16th and we're going to have a general review. So we're going to be checking quantifiers, reading, changing the family and general review. Okay. So the purpose is to review all topics, okay. All right, we're going to skip this part because we need to move fast. Okay. What do you think just by looking at this, I'm going to just move it up a little. What do you think we're going to be discussing? What topic? Uh, we are going talking about pets. Uh -huh. We're going to discuss pets, exactly. So that's why I have a dog and I have a cat. Okay, the purpose is to discuss favorite pets. Here I have two options, but what animals can be pets? Dogs, cats, cats. Uh, birds. Ah, uh, yes. Baby. Pericos, I don't know what is spelling pericos. <laughs> Parakeet, uh-huh. Ca co what, carrot? Parakeet, I'm going to write it oh. here. Okay. Parakeet, see. Uh -huh. And now it tells me all your participants can see your screen now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a little late for that, isn't it? Okay, so, para. Kit. Okay. Parakeet. Let's switch. And the parrot is a Lora. Ah, exactly. Parrot okay. is a Lora. Mm -hmm. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph <The> Lora. <laughs> Parakeet. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So, Parakeet. Dogs, parakeets, cats, what else? Fish, rabbit, ah, yes. turtle. Turtles, my favorite. I have uh, 17 turtles. Okay, so and I have two iguanitas. I had three iguanitas, but one escaped and I cannot find it in the park. It disappeared. So, okay. They were rescued, rescued from a construction. So let's see, turtles, parakeet, fish, what else? Iguana. Mm -hmm. What else? Rabbit. Rabbit. What else? Mm -hmm. We have parakeet, fish, turtles, iguana, rabbit. Another animal that can be a pet? Ham hamster, right? A hamster, what else? Mm 
white mouse. Okay, white mouse, hamster, rabbits, etc. Now, what animal is your favorite pet? Carlos, what's your favorite pet? Well, my favorite pet, um, the fish. Fish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They are beautiful. Yeah, fish are beautiful. Yes. And you, Olguita, what's your favorite pet? Sorry, the dog. Ah, okay. Yeah. Dog. Dogs are beautiful. Do you like big dogs or small dogs? Uh, small dogs like um, um, cocker. Ah, cocker. Cocker Spaniels. Yes. Okay. Yes. They are beautiful. Okay. And you, Roberto, what's your favorite pet? Oh, my favorite pet is a dog. I have a schnauzer dog. Ah, I have a schnauzer. Nice. Okay. I like those dogs, they are beautiful, okay. And you, Glorita, what's your favorite pet? My favorite pet is a dog. I have two Labrador. Ooh, wow, they are big. Yes. They are beautiful. Yes, and you, Marlene, what's your favorite dog? Nothing. Mm -hmm. My... Pet? No, no. Don't like animals. Eh, nothing, nothing, nada. Uh, nada, ninguno. <laughs> okay, it's okay, no problem. How about Jemmy? What's your favorite pet? My favorite pet is parakeets. I have two parakeets. Wow, okay. Yes, they are beautiful. My sister has one. They are beautiful. Yes, okay, excellent. And you, Jamilet, what's your favorite pet? Mm, I don't like having pets. Don't like? Uh, don't like. <laughs> but um, if I have a to choose, I will have um, a dog. A dog, okay, excellent, very good. And you, Gladys Aide? What pet do you like? Um, my favorite is dog. I have three dogs. Three dogs, okay. Yes. It's excellent, very good. Thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Rolando Rigoberto, what's your favorite pet? Uh, good evening. Good evening, my friend. My fav my favorite pet is dog. Is it I have uh -huh. I have a Rottweiler. A Rottweiler, okay. Rottweilers. Ooh, I'm afraid. Ah, I'm afraid. They bite very hard. Okay. Yes. Okay. But they are Thank beautiful you. animals. Beautiful animals. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Thank you, Rolando. Karen, what's your favorite animal, your favorite pet? My favorite pet is a dog. I like um, boxer. Boxers, okay. Yeah, they are also big. But, well, there are small boxers too, right? But boxers are big. Mm -hmm. I have, uh, I have uh, one boxer. Uh, albino, the color, Very. Are, the color are black and white. Oh, okay. How can it be albino if it has black? Okay. It's a little strange, right? But it's nice, okay? Very good. And you, Veronica, what's your favorite pet? My favorite pet is it's a parakeet. Parakeet. Because parakeet because um, they 
speaking or, or repeat words. <laughs> yes, they are very interesting, of course. Okay, yes, that's right. Okay, thank you for sharing. Let's see, exercise one, quantifiers. The purpose is to describe numbers and amounts. Numbers for, for count nouns and amounts for non-count nouns. Uh, maybe you remember that the last time we were talking about families. So this uh, is referring to families. It says, all families have one child. You remember we saw this very briefly. In a hurry, we saw it. Nearly all families have one child. All, 100%. Nearly all, maybe 95% or 97%. Most families have one child. It's 50 plus one. That would be the majority. Most means the majority. Many families are smaller these days. Many is a large number, but it's indefinite. A lot of families are smaller these days. A lot is the same as number, ex ex sorry, is the same as many, except that a lot of is less formal than many. Now, some families are smaller these days. Some families may be like 40%, not many couples have one child. Not many couples have more than one child, okay? A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. And no one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, this is about the quantities. Now we're going to put it into application. Rewrite these sentences using quantifiers. Then compare with a partner. It says, in China, 50% of the women get married by the age 22. So we say, in China, what? So, okay. What is 50%? A lot of percent. A lot of. Uh -huh. A lot of women, right? But would be half, half of the women. We say a lot of women. Yeah, let's use a lot of women. Okay. In China, a lot of women get married by the age of 18. Okay, put it like that. What about in 22? In Australia or Australia, 87% of married couples have children. Nearly all. Okay, nearly all or most, right? Mm -hmm. Let's use nearly. Nearly all married couples have children. Okay, that's about in, Aust in Australia, but we didn't put it there. We're going to leave it that part. In the United States, 0% of the people vote before the age of 18. What do we say? No one. No one. No one. Mm -hmm. No one is separated, right? So no one votes before the age of 18. Okie dokie. And number four. A few. Uh -huh. A few, right? Mm -hmm. A few people in Germany. So, a few people in Germany live alone. 
Okay, excellent. And the last one, 78% 70, of American high school students have jobs. Many, many. Many, yeah, we can say many, we can say most. Most American high school students have jobs. Okay, so most American high school students have jobs. Okay, now what sentences can we think of about our country? Maybe not necessarily with these things, but okay. Have a job, adults, have a job. What do you think? A lot of. Okay. A lot of adults or most adults? Maybe most adults, right? Most adults have a job. Okay. Get married. What do you think? Most of the population get married? Or, or most, most of the married couple? Couple have two or more children. Okay. Most of the population have two or more children. Okay. Yes. In the cities, most people are opting for one child or two children. In the countryside, most people have uh, a lot of children, <laughs> which is a blessing. Children are beautiful. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Speak English. What do you think? Most of the most of the people speak English, or a few people speak English. Some people. Some people, right? Some people speak. Some people. Uh -huh. Yeah. I speak the English. Yes. Thanks God. Now the number is growing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Now let's see. We have this letter, dear young Jung, young June. Okay, I think. So who would like to read it? One volunteer? Yes, Roberto. Thanks. Okay, teacher. Yes, my friend, go ahead. Dear John Jung, thanks for you for your email. Now, let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmers. Most families here are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister's name is Veronica. She's really cute. Right now, she's studying high school. Most of her friends, her age, her age, are studying with her. Mm -hmm. So, so in the afternoon, they usually go together to study. They're really noisy. Well, enough about me. Please tell me about yourself. What are you doing this day? Love, Sara. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, two more people. This time, we're going to be having only two more people. Karen, thank you. There are young... John, thanks for your remain. Now let me tell let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmer. Most family here are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister name is Veronica. She is really cute. Right now, she is a study high school. Most of her friends, her age, are study with her. So in the afternoon, they usually get 
together to study. They're really noisy. Well, and now about me. Please tell me about yourself. What are you doing this day? Love, Sarah. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, one more. One more volunteer. Me teacher, Marlene. Okay, Marlene, go ahead, please. There you, John, John, mm -hmm. that dance for your email. No, now let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmers. Most family hair are small. I hair are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister Nay is Veronica. She's really cut cut right cute. now. Mm -hmm. Cute. Cute right now. She's studying high school. Most most of her friends. Her again. Are stu her again are studying white hair. So in the afternoon they usually get together to study. They're really noise. Well enough about me. Please tell me about yourself. What are you doing this day? Love, Sarah. Love, Sarah. Thank you very much. I have three volunteers. So I have Olguita, Jamilet, and Paola. You're going to read, my dear Ninitas, but this is the last one for this one because of time. But in the next one, the next activity you're going to read. It says, only for pronunciation, thanks for your email. Now let me tell you about my family. My parents are coffee farmers. Most families here are small. I have one older sister, but I don't have a brother. My sister's name is Veronica. She's really cute. Right now she's studying high school. Most of her friends her age are studying with her. So in the afternoon, they usually get together to study. They are really noisy. Well, enough about me. Please tell me about yourself. What are you doing these days? Love, Sam. Okay, this is the email. Now, this is the other one. Okay, reading, change in families. The purpose is to discuss how families are changing. And uh, I remember that I had uh, three volunteers. Olguita, would you please read? Okay. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents work? Read about the moral family or Morales family. Jude and Steve Morales have three children, Josh, tw uh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy, has, Judy is working again as a hospital administration, administra administrator. administrator. Uh, the family needs the money, and Judy likes her home. Joe, pardon. Mm -hmm. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. The next volunteer was Jamilet, right? So please go ahead. Okay, American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happened when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, nine, and Emily, six. Steve is a computer pro programmer. Program. Um, 
this year Judy is working again as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are all some problems. Okay, let's see the problems. Let's check the problems. Okay. Now, Paola, would you please read these two? Now the Judy is working. She has, I still has to help, help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Judy loves her job, her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Judy has to work on a Saturday, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he's spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Okay. Excellent, very good. Thank you very much. Now, another volunteer for this part. Yes, Elsa, begin. And now down. Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. He doesn't. Jude loves her. Mm -hmm. Continue, continue. Jude loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Jude, Judy has to work on Saturdays so Steve and Judy don't have a lot, a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick up, to pick her up, mm -hmm. she doesn't want to leave. Um, Fortunately. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after-school program. Right now, he's spending, spending most afternoons in front of the TV. Okay, excellent, very good. Now, one last for this one. Okay, I have uh, Karen, okay. Thank you, Karen. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worried about the children. Judy has to work on Saturday. So Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Unfortunately, Bim's school doesn't have an after school program. Right now, he is spending most afternoon in front of the TV. Okay, thank you very much. Now, to finish, who would like to read Josh? Florita? John is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time of the phone. He's also doing a few house, household 
Charles. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, one more person for this one. Me, teacher. Yes, please, go ahead. Josh is enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. A few household chores. Chores is housework. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, which children are benefiting from Judy working? Who are benefiting? Uh -huh. Only Emily. Emily. And Emily. Right. And, and Josh. Josh and Emily. Uh -huh. Emily and Josh. Okay. Yes. Which children are not benefiting from Judy working? And Ben. 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 Which family members, which family member is enjoying more freedom? Josh. 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 Which family Very happy. happy. <laughs> which family members are doing more housework? Steve. Steve and Josh. Right. Well, housework? No, only Steve. And Emily? Emily, no? no? Only Steve. Okay. Which family feels too busy? Judy. 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 Judy feels too busy. Okay. That's. How about yourself? You feel too busy in your house? Do you want to work? Repeat, teacher. Okay. Uh, How many of you feel very busy? Busy. Judy. 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 In your big family, no. In your family. Ah, do in you, our family. Yes. Do you feel busy? Yes, very busy. <laughs> Very busy. You have a lot of work. Okay. And who enjoys a lot of freedom? Who enjoys a lot of freedom in your house? My niece. Your niece. Okay. Nice. Okay. And... Uh, who is doing more housework now? Me. You are doing more housework now. <laughs> okay. All right, my dear. Me too, teacher. Sure. You too, right? Okay. We're going to stop here tonight. Tomorrow is our last day together. So uh, tomorrow we're going to finish with this part. Okay. Thank you very teacher. much. For Excuse me, teacher, I have a question. Yes, please ask. I finished the, uh, the platform. I finished. You finished I the have, platform. Okay. I have two exams. Mm -hmm. Oh, you uh, finished the exams? Yes. Okay, excellent. Wonderful. Eh, eh, no sé si hay otro más o solo los que estaban en la plataforma, o yo me confundí. Only that one. Only... The one that we took today, that is the final exam. Okay. So they are asking us to do that one. Okay. So that's it. Hey, you finished them. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Teacher, teacher, yeah. do you know when we are going to start the next course? Oh, no, I don't know when. Okay. I think that probably one week. Okay. In one week, I guess. Okay. Possible in one week. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. You, teacher. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Yes, bye. Good night. Gracias, Olguita. Okay. Bye.